fast food place. I'd probably say Taco Bell. What about you? Really? I like Taco Villa. Interesting. We both like taco. Make sure to get your best taco, because you can today. National Fast Food Day. Don't you dare get tomatoes. It's disgusting. Now on to our announcements for the week. Stuco is selling butter braids, so contact anyone in student council or go to the room 305 to buy some. Also, a big congratulations to volleyball on a fantastic season. And also, congrats to Mackie Hart on advancing to state and cross country. Y'all did great. Now on to our super weatherman, Ian. Yeah, I am! What's up, SHS? Here is this week's weather. Monday, there will be a high of 71 and a low of 48 and sunny. Tuesday, there will be a high of 76 and a low of 51 and sunny. Wednesday, the high is 80, the low is 50, and sunny. Thursday's high is going to be 77, the low of 51, and guess what? Sunny. Friday, it will be a high of 78, a low of 49, and also sunny. And just a disclaimer, we live in West Texas, so probably don't listen to me. I'm always wrong. Probably. That's all for this week's weather. Hope y'all are joining out there. And back to Lily and me. and some of your best work. Thanks, Lily. I think so, too. Now, on to Shallow Water Sports. Hi, I'm McKinley. And I'm Jenna. Welcome back to Shallow Water Sports. Congrats to Volleyball on their outstanding season. Philly basketball will play Tuesday at Andrews, JV at 4, and Varsity at 6.30. Mustang basketball will play at home against Loveland, JV at 5, and Varsity at 6.15. Philly basketball will also play this Friday versus Lubbock High, JV at 4.30, and Varsity at 6. They will also play home versus Snyder on Saturday, JV at 10.30, Varsity at 12. The Mustangs are still undefeated, recently defeating River Road. The next playoff game is TBA. Make sure you come out and support the Mustangs in their playoff journey. Fantastic. Keep up the great work, Mustangs. <laughs> congrats to all cross country teams. A special congrats to Mackie Hart for placing seventh at regionals. She will run in the state cross country meet in Round Rock on Monday the 23rd. Good luck, Mackie. We're all cheering for you. And that's all we have for you this week in Shallow Water Sports. And remember, mask up SHS. Hello SHS and welcome to our next segment of politics and the 2020 election. With a very stressful election process and quite honestly a few bitten off nails, the former Vice President Joe Biden is now the president-elect of the United States and will be taking office January 20th. The incumbent president, Donald Trump, is filing lawsuits against states that he is lost in and says that he might bring the election results to legal action if possible. In other news, the president has currently <clears throat> fired his Secretary of Defense, Mike, uh, Mark Esper, and with many questions over votes being recounted and the transition process going forward, this next few weeks are shaping up to be a bit chaotic. That's all we have for right now, but we will continue to keep you updated as things move forward. Have a good day, SHS, and stay safe. Hey, SHS, in honor of Thanksgiving today, we're walking through the halls and asking people what they're thankful for. What are you thankful for? Uh, family. Oh. Yeah. And what are you thankful for? What'd you say? What are you thankful for? My husband. And what are you thankful for? Air is good. I'm a big fan of the sun. I am genuinely thankful for a roof over my head, a bed to sleep in, I'm healthy, and family, of course. I know it's cheesy, and God, but yeah. Okay, and what are you thankful for? Um, my family and uh, 
the school and just sports and just my life, I guess. Now, what are you thankful for? <laughs> well, yes. I'm thankful for the awesome students at Shallow Water High School. What am I thankful for? Why toilet paper? What key can't open doors? Or what kind of key can't open doors? What kind of key can't open doors? I don't know. A turkey. Okay, that was actually pretty good. Y'all have a great week. And have a great Thanksgiving break. Mask up!